Hello Hoopers, today I'm going to be teaching you the chest roll, which looks like this. How this is done is you're going to be hand hooping counterclockwise in your right hand, and then without turning your hand, keeping it forward, you're going to bring it out to the side of your body. See how my hand stays forward? You can keep it like that, because if you turn your hand, your hoop's going to go flying off. So you're gonna make sure that you keep your hand right there in front. Now, when you release, you can do this two different ways. My preferred method is between the fingers. So I'm gonna be hand hooping, and I'm gonna bring it up between my fingers here, my thumb and my forefinger. So you can come up between there and go up my arm this direction. This is my personally preferred method. Um, it just works better for me. However, you can also do the surface switch method which is when you move your hand to the outside of your hoop. And then you can kind of use that to guide it up your arm. So if you haven't watched Sapphire's tutorial on the surface switch, then you should learn that, and that will make this part a whole lot easier. So if the between the fingers just isn't working for you, then go ahead and try the surface switch method and learn how to do the surface switch, and that could be better for you. Uh, a lot of things I see hoopers do when they try this is they don't have the momentum going before they do it. They just try to hock it over themselves and it just doesn't work. So the momentum is really key here. So as you're hand hooping, you bring it out to the side. And using your preferred release method, you're going to extend your arm completely as you do this and let it roll across your body. Like that. Now, a few tips for this. Um, I really didn't get this move until I tried a much lighter hoop. So I don't know if there's something with the physics of that, that my hoop is lighter, therefore it's easier. Or if it's psychological, that I'm not so worried it's going to hit me in the face as it's going across. So um, if you're not getting this, try a lighter hoop. And it might just work for some reason it did for me. Uh, another thing is when you're releasing, Either way that you release, whether it's the surface switch or if it's between the fingers, sometimes it helps to raise your arm. So as you release, bring that arm up so it has something to roll down. Because sometimes, especially when I was first starting it, I would just kind of do like a toss. And giving that arm a little bit of lift helps the hoop connect from the start and keep that connection all the way through. Another thing that I've learned that really helps is instead of bending from up here between your shoulder blades, that doesn't give you much of a table for your hoop to go across. So what you want to do is you're going to want to bend from your bottom vertebrae down here because that's going to give you much more surface and it's going to be more comfortable and it's going to look a little bit better than you trying to do this because this just doesn't feel right and it kind of hurts. So you're just going to bend from the bottom vertebrae it's going to give you more of a table to roll across. Also, while you're doing this, exhale, relax. As it comes across, just <sighs> because if you tense up, you can bring your arms up, and then you don't have much of a flat surface for your hoop to roll across. You're going to try and maintain as flat as possible, and really, as soon as you let go of that hoop, you have no more control until it hits your other hand. So, as it's coming across, just try to relax, let the hoop go, and don't try to guide it either, because a lot of people, as they do it, they try and like make sure it goes a certain direction or whatever. Just let the hoop just go across. Just, ha. Ah. Also, fight the need to look at the hoop. If you're trying to look at the hoop as it's going across, that means that your face is in the way and then you will hit yourself in the face and it's going to be a bad deal. So make sure that you're not looking at the hoop. You're just going to want to bend from the bottom, exhale, and let it go across. So that hoopers is the chest roll. Happy hooping!